the Great Barrier Reef, the largest and most complex reef system in the world. It's one of Australia's most treasured natural wonders and an international icon. And it's facing a number of challenges that the Queensland Government is moving quickly to address. Recognising its importance, the Queensland Government is spending an additional $100 million over the next five years to improve water quality flowing to the reef from primary production and fishing industries. And it's here, on the northern edge of the Great Barrier Reef World Heritage Area, that lies a tiny island that plays host to one of the most spectacular ocean migrations on the planet. This is Rain Island, where the world's largest population of endangered green turtles comes to nest. As many as 20,000 turtles nest here at a time. But Rain Island's role as a turtle sanctuary is in danger of collapse. Every year, scientists have watched nesting and hatching failure on a grand scale. The Queensland and Australian governments have commenced a world-class long-term recovery project to halt their decline. The ambitious project involved reprofiling a trail area covering approximately 10% of the available nesting area. Steep cliffs formed by erosion were also fenced off to stop female turtles falling, being trapped and dying on their backs. This new fencing has reduced the adult mortality rate on the island by more than 50%. Results so far are extremely encouraging. Hatching success rate has jumped from just over 36% over the previous three years to 56%. While the numbers of clutches destroyed in the nests was slashed from 43% down to 28%. Weather stations, data loggers and monitoring cameras now provide live 24-hour access to conditions on the island. This is an ambitious and cutting-edge project and one that demonstrates the commitment of the Queensland and Australian governments to the long-term protection of the values and natural assets of the Great Barrier Reef.